Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be playing through a game called Santa's Workshop. Yes, this game is designed by Keith Ferguson and published by Elf Creek Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of elves who are preparing for Christmas. We're going to try to build as many toys and spread as much Christmas cheer as possible so that we can impress Santa and go on that exclusive vacation we've always wanted. That's right, this is a worker placement game where we are going to be trying to build as many toys as possible in the nine days leading up to Christmas. And so this is actually the second edition of the game that now includes two modes of play. There's the basic as well as the advanced game mode. And so today we're going to be playing the advanced game. And as per usual, we're going to be starting with a teach of the game and then we'll go straight into our two player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any mistakes, we'll add those corrections there. If we also discover mistakes, we'll also add it to the description as well. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Santa's Workshop. Welcome to the North Pole. Look at it. Now, like we were mentioning earlier, in this game, players play as a team of elves who are all competing for a chance to go on a nice vacation with Santa. And so over the course of nine days, we're going to try to score the most amount of points by building as many toys as we can and by spreading holiday cheer. Now each player starts the game with two toys that they are currently working on. And in order to build a toy, you'll need to gather the materials needed for it. And so in this example, I have here the wagon, which requires four metal, two wood, and three assembly tokens. So all toys will require a certain amount of assembly tokens between one and four, and some combination of the different types of material. And in this game, we have three main types of material. We have fabric, wood, and metal. And once you're able to fully construct the toy, then you'll get the number of points at the top right hand corner, which in this example is 14 points, which you would score immediately. Now this is a worker placement game, or I suppose uh, an elf placement game, because each player will have three elves that they can place out each day. Because we are playing a two player game, there are some setup changes as well as gameplay changes, which we'll be discussing right before we start the game. But in the standard game, we'll each have three. Mm -hmm. And so each day, starting with the first player, players will take turns placing out one elf each and resolving the action until all players have placed out all of their elves. So then let's just go ahead and give you a tour of the North Pole and talk about the various worker placement actions that we'll be resolving. Yep. Now, like I was mentioning, in order to build these toys, you'll need a certain combination of materials. And so this right-hand side of the North Pole is home to the three different materials workshops, the fabric, wood, as well as the metal. And all three regions here work the exact same way. Each shop has two different places where you can place an elf. And by the way, there are two different sizes for worker placement spots. A majority of the time, you'll see the smaller rectangular box. We can only hold one elf each. But in a couple of places, you'll also see the larger rectangular rectangle, which can hold as many elves as, as needed. Now in these workshops, one spot will cost one coal and the other spot costs two coal. And coal is the currency in the game. We'll start with different amounts of coal depending on player turn order, but all coal will be stored in your coal cart. And depending on where you go, you'll get either two or three of that material type. So if I sent mistle mistletoe to the leftmost spot here, I would pay one coal and I would gain two wood. Now, the thing about materials in this game is you have to be able to hold materials uh, that you gain or else you can't take it. And throughout the game, there'll be two main places where you can place your materials. They'll be either on an uncompleted toy or on one of the three types of upgrades that are on your player mat. We'll talk about the upgrades again a little bit later, but uh, the two upgrades on your coal cart require wood, your two mining tools requires metal, and the reindeer blankets requires fabric. Now, in addition to gaining the material for going to that spot, uh, after I place my elf there, I can uh, optionally choose to take a training token for the cost of an additional coal. And so what these do is you can assign a training token to the elf that you place there. So that's very important. So in this case, it would be mistletoe. And each elf can hold at most two training tokens. And basically for the rest of the game, if I place it on its wood side face up, each time I go to specifically the wood shop, I will gain an additional wood as long as I went there with mistletoe. So you are customizing your specific elves via your player mat. Now this is all a part of the advanced game, by the way. Uh, the advanced game has the player mats where you can customize your elves as well as the coal cart and such. So just keep that in mind if you plan on playing the base game because that is not a part of it. Now alternatively, if you were to take a training token, you can instead flip it on its opposite side, which would just get you two points at the end of the game. And training tokens, by the way, do not refill until the end of the round, which means only one person can claim a training token per shop per day. 
And if you're able to assign two training tokens to one elf, at the end of the game, you'll score two additional bonus points. And so that is essentially how all three of these material shops work. Just ignore this neutral player token, by the way. This is a part of the two-player game only. In addition to materials, in order to build toys, you'll also need assembly tokens. So the next area of the board is the assembly shop, which is down here. Unlike the material shops, gaining assembly tokens does not cost you coal. When you go there though, there is a specific order that you have to place elves and they are labeled first, second, and third. So if you are the first player to go there, you'll place your elf on the first spot and it'll gain you one assembly token, which again, you have to be able to place immediately on an unbuilt toy. Now let's just say Naveen were to go there as the second person. He would also gain one assembly token, but in addition to that, he can also ask for help from the elf who went there first. And if so, he would gain a second assembly token, but it would give the player who placed the first elf here three points. Mm -hmm. Now, had I gone there second instead of Naveen, I could ask myself for help, but I would not score the three points for helping myself, <laughs> basically. And again, because the third space box is much bigger, any number of elves can go here. But the difference is you can also ask for help from the second player. The order of things though, is you would gain one, then you would first have the option of asking for help from the first player. And if you choose to do so, then you can also ask for help from the second player. So the second player only gets, uh, gets to provide help if the first player did as well. So that is essentially how the assembly hall works. It does not require you to spend coal, but it does require the help, the assistance <laughs> from other players. Now let's move on to the coal mine. Eventually you're going to run out of coal and you basically need coal in order to uh, build a lot of things, to build toys, to gain reindeer, etc. So once you have at least one empty space in your coal cart, you can go to the coal mine to basically refill your entire cart. If you're the first player to go there, you also get a point. Each additional player will place their elves in the large rectangle here. And since we're talking about the coal mine, let's take a second to discuss the equipment upgrades because two of them are applicable when going there. Wood will allow you to upgrade your coal cart. So your first upgrade here only requires two wood. And as soon as you're able to complete that, you would remove this. And now your coal cart can hold three more spaces for coal. The second upgrade though, requires you to spend four wood. But as soon as you remove that, you'll have your entire, uh, what is this, 12 spaces for coal. And at the end of the game, it'll score you four points. The next type of upgrade you have though, are your mining tools. And this requires metal. So it's the same thing. The first one is two metal and the second one is four. But as soon as you upgrade one, going to the coal mine will score you one point, regardless of if you were there first or not. So if you were there first and you had this upgrade, it'll score you two points, which is nice because you're going to be going to the coal mine several times throughout the game. And as soon as you upgrade it a second time, then now going there will score you two points instead of just one. And at the end of the game, it'll score you four points. So you're definitely gonna want to try to work on your upgrades uh, as early as possible. And again, going to the coal mine refills your entire cart. So it's pretty nice. Right. And the third type of upgrade on your player mat are the reindeer blankets, and they require you to assign fabric, two and four, similar to the other upgrades. But as soon as you're able to upgrade them, they'll get you a discount for when you go to the reindeer stable. Going to the stables allows you to care for the reindeer. Now, each reindeer will uh, require you to spend a certain amount of coal. So this is the last sort of area where you're going to be using your coal. And the amount of coal you have to spend is at the top right-hand corner. At the start of the game, it's only gonna be three coal each but as you progress uh, through throughout the entire game, they're gonna be more and more expensive because the deck is actually split up into an A, B, and C pile. And this is specifically for the advanced game, by the way. Now at the bottom of the card, it tells you the benefit that you get immediately for taking this card. So in this example, I have Comet who will give me one assembly token. Now reindeer are a set collection aspect to the game. As soon as you take a card, you're going to keep it uh, face down in front of you so that nobody knows who you have. And at the end of the game, you're going to score your largest unique set. And the amount of points you get is all listed down here. So if you collect all nine reindeer, that's an additional 25 points at the end of the game. In addition, for each duplicate reindeer that you have, you'll score an additional two points. And the benefits that they'll each provide will also increase uh, as we get through the deck. And we'll be discussing all of the reindeer as we play the game. All right, moving on, we have the mail room. So eventually you're gonna build the toys that you have and you're gonna want to collect, uh, you're, you're gonna wanna take more toy plans. So going here will allow you to either go to the, the, the this is supposed to be like the naughty, the naughty and nice <laughs> list. So if you go to this spot here, this is the nice list. It'll allow you to take 
take three of the toys from the mail room. Now, each time you take a toy, you can choose between taking one of the six face up or one from the top of the deck. And each time you take one from the mail room, it gets refilled immediately. So you'll always have a choice between essentially seven each time you take one. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can only have at most five unfinished toys face up in front of you. And the difference between this and this spot is when you go here, you first flush all the face up uh, cards by discarding them all and then revealing a new set of six. And then you can only take two toys instead of three. And finally, in the very middle of the North Pole, of course, we have the fabulous Christmas tree. Look how large it is. It's so big that we can only see the bottom half. In a two player game, this spot is completely blocked off. But you're, if you're playing in higher player accounts, then you'll have two spaces available. One spot that'll get you one point and the other spot that will uh, force you to move the first player marker to somebody else who doesn't have it. So, which means if you already have it and you go to that spot, you are going to have to pass it off to somebody else. So we are definitely gonna to want to consider that when playing a two player game. But also this location lets you hang up one of your five ornaments onto the tree. And so the tree depicts basically each of the three different types of materials and each player's ornaments has the three materials as well as a toy and three points. So when going there, you're going to choose one of your ornaments and you're going to choose a spot to place it on. You can place it literally anywhere and you'll gain the spot that you cover up as well as the bonus on the ornament. So if I were to place this here, I would get two metal because they both show metal. And then I would flip this uh, face down so that just my color is showing there. Now, similar to all the other locations, the materials that you get from the tree, you must be able to assign it immediately, but that is essentially how the Christmas tree works. And the significance of the ornaments is for when we have Santa inspection, which I think this is a good time to talk about because we basically discussed all of the different uh, spots that we'll be going to throughout the day. Once everyone's placed out all of their elves for the day, by the way, we do a bit of cleanup, which basically is just returning your elves, discarding all of the reindeer because these do do not refill and they also uh, don't get replenished until the end of the day. And then we of course move the Santa marker to the next day because the entire game is played over the course of nine days. But at the end of the third day, at the end of every third day actually, we're going to have Santa inspection. Santa wants to make sure that we are making all the toys in time for Christmas. And most importantly, Santa wants to make sure that we are spreading holiday cheer, which is what we are going to be graded on. In order to calculate how much holiday cheer you are spreading, you're going to count all of the toys that you've completed just in that three day period. So if I was able to complete my wagon, it would be here face down and I would basically count up my toy pile and all the ornaments that I have on the tree. And whoever has the most between those two things will get eight points. Second place will get four. If you're playing in higher player accounts, third place will get two points and fourth place will get one point. And those points will not change. That is the distribution each time we have Santa inspection, which is after every three days. Now, once you've scored those points, all of the toys made are going to go into uh, Santa's sleigh, which means during the next inspection, you're only, again, going to count the toys made in the three-day period, but your ornaments will stay throughout the game. They never get removed, which means each ornament that you put on the tree is going to be counted towards all of these Santa inspections for the rest of the game. And that is essentially it. As soon as we have our third Santa inspection and that's been completed, then we immediately go into final scoring because the game has ended. Throughout the game, we're going to be scoring points each time we complete our toys. So our score markers will already have been progressed uh, around the board. But in addition to that, at the end of the game, for each of your unfinished toys, uh, you'll get one point for each token that you're able to place on them. So we're definitely going to want to potentially pick up those really, really lucrative uh, toys before the end of the game so that we can just throw a bunch of tokens on them. We'll also score our set collection for our reindeer. Each player will also score the two points for any of their training tokens on their elves that were on that side face up. You'll score the two points for each elf that you've maxed out. And finally, you'll score four points for each of your fully upgraded items on your player mat. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins that coveted vacation with Santa. <laughs> so that's about it. We're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are all reset, we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. The first player in this game is determined by whoever gave a gift last. That is gonna be me, I gave Monique a birthday gift last. That's right. So there we go. So Naveen is going first, which means he's going to start the game with two coal, whereas mm -hmm. I get to start with three coal. Mm -hmm. And this is the first player marker, the coveted Christmas tree. Christmas so tree. there you go. Thanks. All right, shall we introduce our team? Why not? 
I am going to be playing as the green player. I have three elves, mistletoe, spruce, and berry. And we are going to work very hard <laughs> to win that vacation. Okay, very good. I am going to be the red player. I have Glog, Nog, and Wassail. <laughs> They're very cute, they I are. must say. Little gnomes. Now, since we are playing a two-player game, we do have some changes to setup as well as to gameplay. Mainly the fact that in these three areas, as well as in the mail room, only one player can take an action in each of those areas uh, once per day. Mm -hmm. But both spaces are available. So this means that as soon as the first player takes um, an action there, we'll immediately block off the other space using a neutral player color. Mm -hmm. And that resets at the end of the day. And that is how all four of these locations work. Mm -hmm. In addition, in the Christmas tree area, the one point space is always going to be blocked off for the entire game, mm -hmm. which means we only have that one space available. And that is it in terms of changes to the board. Now, the other thing is each player has an additional helper. So I have the snowman yep. <laughs> and you. The fairy. Yes, and they basically act as a fourth elf for all intents and purposes, uh, with the exception that you cannot train them. So the training spaces are still only available for your three uh, starting elves. And that's it in terms of changes to setup. So I think we're ready to begin. Are you yes, ready? I'm ready. All right, day one, please. All right, let's take it away. Let's go, red team. Uh, so... <laughs> I see that I have both a truck and a jack-in-the-box that are going to require some of this metal. Uh-huh. And so I'm going to have to go get some metal right now. So I'm going to send Glog out. We're going to go ahead and just place myself here. Okay. That's going to cost me one coal. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get uh, two of those sheets of metal. Two metal. Here you go. We okay. have two metal. And Thank I'm just going to keep this beside me because we mixed all of the different material yeah, types make together. make it easier for us. And then I will take the upgrade ability right there. So yes, so you'd like to spend the additional coal? I am. My last piece of coal All right. is going to go out. This is for the metal training token. And again, exactly. you have to place it. With Glog. With Glog. Because Glog is who went out and did it. But you can decide which side to use. I think Do you early want the in metal the game, side? this seems like a great side. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign these two pieces of metal to this truck. Here. All right. All right. Oh, and by the way, we're supposed to immediately block off this space, so yeah. I can no longer go uh, to the uh, metal shop. Right. All right, so then it is back to me, and I have a deck of cards that requires one wood and one material and a peg block that also requires wood, mm -hmm. which means I may want to go get some wood. So I'm going to go ahead and send mistletoe <laughs> over to this space. Okay. So it's the two coal space. That'll get me three wood. Yep, it's going to block this one off. Thank you. So here's my three wood. And I think I'm going to assign one to the deck of cards because that's all it needs. And the other two I'm going to use to unlock my first mm -hmm. uh, coal cart upgrade. So this gets removed and now I can hold three additional spaces of coal when I go to the mine. In addition, I would like to take this training, uh, this upgrade token. So I'm going to spend that one additional coal and I will use it to, I guess I'll use it to um, upgrade mistletoe yeah, with early. the wood side up because it is still very early. I basically want the most bang for my buck <laughs> with this training token. Yeah, totally. All right, back to you. All right, no coal. Got to go get coal because you've just opened yourself up for more. That's so right. let's go ahead and put that there. So I am on the board with one point for very going good. to the coal mine first yesterday. Uh -huh. And then uh, let's just load myself up with six. Six? That's yeah. all? That's it. I know. <laughs> just kidding. There you, you got go. got the wood early. Yeah. All six. All right. I'll manage this. Back all right. So then it's back to me. I am in no rush now to go to the mine. So I'm going to just go ahead and take first here. Okay. Which means I will get one material. And uh, I'm going to finish my deck of cards. It only required one material and one wood. One to one, yeah. So now it's done. I'm going to go ahead and discard uh, these tokens. And then I'm going to gain these points immediately. So that's three, three points. points. One, two, three. Up okay. there. No worries. And this is now uh, going to get added to my pile for when Santa comes for inspection. <laughs> and these are actually kept face down <laughs> to avoid confusion. Yep. This is a letter that's been mailed. <laughs> All right, back to you. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and send out my fairy. Okay. And we're, oh, well, you know what? No, actually, let's send out uh, Wasil so I can upgrade them or get them trained a little bit more. We're gonna go here to this location. Okay. So that's gonna cost me two coal. Plus, uh -huh. I am going to take the extra benefit at the bottom in a second. Okay, so, that's so it's going to cost me three total. Three total? To take this one. And then, if you don't mind just getting me three. Three fabric. Fabric. What side uh, of the training token would you like to use? Definitely going to use this side, like we said early on. You want to get the compounding effects. So, I'm going to just drop these three onto my jack in the box. All right. So, then it goes back to me. And seeing as all of the material shops are pretty much closed, mm -hmm. uh, now would probably be a good time to go to the, coal, the mine. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and refill my coal cart get and I get to hold nine. <laughs> so I have a little bit more time 
uh, to take actions before Naveen takes actions. Takes, yeah. All right. That's me. Uh, Fairy is going to go find a way to make this uh, a thing of the past. So I'm going to go over here to this reindeer section. Okay. And it's going to cost me three coal to get Dancer in play. And mm. what Dancer's going to get me is two wood, which is going to go ahead and close that out. So I'm going to give you the three. Okay. And this is okay. da- this is uh, reindeer number two, number two, by the way, if you'd yeah. like to count for set collection. That's right. So I have this one. So Dancer is going to be, I'll just keep that right there for me. And then uh, because I have two wood, uh-huh. it's gonna, it has no place to go. Right. Except for opening up my coal cart. So we're Very just going to get rid of this and give you back the wood. Congratulations. And now next time I go here, I'll be able to fill for nine. So, of course, the reindeer goes face down so that Monique does not know what I'm collecting. <laughs> right. All right. Back to me for my final turn. And seeing as I'm only working on one toy currently, it's probably a good idea to get some more, right? Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the mail room. And I'm just going to take this spot, and which means uh, that spot is blocked off. Sure. And I think I'll start by taking the tea set. So, again, uh, when you take a toy, you can choose to take one from the mail room or the top card from the deck. And this gets refilled immediately, so you always have an option of six. Jax. Now I get to take two more. Oh, Jax is not bad. But it is a bit early, so I do have some time to gather material. I'm going to take the paint set next, okay. which uh, requires a variety of different things. So does the sled now. So does the sled, but it's so expensive. And I only have two days left before uh, the first Santa inspection, so maybe I'll take something really simple. Okay. And I'll just go with the jacks. You are going to go with the jacks. Okay. Three points. And now I have four cards uh, towards my limit of five. Mm-hmm. All right. That is the end of day one, which means December 16th has come to a close. Has... We'll just do some cleanup, and then we can get started with the next round. So let's go ahead and take our elves back. Off they go. I just oh, need to remember shame. not to take Santa back. It's a shame that you didn't go here. I purposely I didn't, get to didn't use go my, yeah. my benefit there. I didn't Although I guess go there. I could have gone there for a second time That's true. to gain two, but okay. no additional points. Oh, you got to grab your snowman. Oh, yes. There we go. Thank and then we you. clear off these reindeer, so they are gone. And a new set of three come out. All right. Out. One. I'm resetting two, the neutral player. Thank you. And, and I'm going Santa. to add some training tokens because you always refill the uh, material shops with training tokens mm-hmm. if they've been taken that round. Gotcha. And then Santa is now going to move to the 17th. Perfect. All right, and now it is December 17th. We are in day two, and the first player is still Naveen because neither of us went to the Christmas tree. We didn't put any ornaments so, on. We did so not. So I'll maintain first. I like this. So, uh, well, I have no coal. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, but I do get a point if I go get some coal. So let's go ahead and send out the fairy there because the fairy will not be leveling up uh, their <laughs> traits. Uh, so let's go ahead and get myself some coal and one victory point. Okay. So you can hold nine now. I can hold Here's nine now. Three, so. uh Six and nine. That's nice because it's kind of like I went first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a point out of it though. So, but I there feel you like go. you're gonna turn more points into whatever you're gonna do. Your coal. All Your right. Coal. Should I send out mistletoe or should I upgrade somebody else? That's the question. Yeah, I guess it is still early. I could make mistletoe just a a really really good the wood gatherer. Wood, yeah, wood gatherer. So I'm gonna go here. This is going to cost me two coal. Sure. So I'll go ahead and spend the two coal, and that gets me three plus one more wood. Okay. Because mistletoe is already fairly good at collecting wood. Good at the wood. So I do have to assign these immediately. And I think I'll assign three of them to the peg block, since it's going to be easier to complete. And then one will go to the paint set, because nothing else needs wood. I could start working on this upgrade, but I've already upgraded once. Yeah. Um, and then I will spend one additional coal to take the training token. You did. I think, uh, I think I'll go with another wood. Okay. So that mistletoe is just extremely good at, uh, at collecting good wood. Good at the wood. All right, so now it goes to you. Well, now I'm in the situation where I know I want metal. Uh-huh. Do I want to turn Glog into my metal getter? <laughs> I think I'm going to. I mean, All good I questions. might as well. So I'm going to send out Glog. Okay. And we're going to go onto this two coal spot. All right. Which I'm really going to pay three coal because I'm going to take this, uh, this uh, token. Okay. So I'm going to keep it on the metal side, just like very similar to what you just did. Uh Uh-huh. Because I want Glog to get me all the metal. Three metal. Three metal. So we are going to drop in two on the the jack-in-the-box. Okay. And one on the truck. So now I just need to get some of these materials. Some material. Yeah. You're going to get material. Possibly. Which makes me think that maybe I should go here. Mm. So I'm going to get started in the material area, and I get one material for that, which I'm just going to take, and honestly, I'm going to assign it to the peg block. So this gets completed because it only needed one and three wood. Yep. So I'm going to score the five points immediately. Can you move me up five points, please? Uh, yep. 
All right, so what is that? Three, uh, eight? Eight. There you go. And then this will go into my toy pile. You're spreading some cheer. I am. I have not spread okay. any cheer. <laughs> I want that vacation. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a sweet vacation on the line, ah. and it has mistletoe spruce and various names on it. You have so. to listen to a seminar in order to that get is okay. this vacation. <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay. All right, you, you knew it. I'm going to go there. Yeah. I got All right. Go. So this is the first time that this is happening. Yeah. So you definitely get one material. I do. And since you are in the second spot, uh, you have the option of asking me for help. Would you like some help for a second material token? Yeah. Yes? Fortunately, begrudgingly, yes. Fantastic. I do it. So that means you get a second token, and I gain three points yes, because I'm in that too. spot. So do you mind moving up uh, by sure. three, please? It should one, be at 11. Two, three, yeah. Nice. Well, the truck is now completed. So oh, okay. So a little bit of holiday cheer. So three metal. Uh-huh. One material. Very good. And that's how many and points? That's going to be worth five points. So I gave you three for me to get five. Doesn't feel very good. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. But I'm gaining so you're at on seven. you. I'm, yeah, I'm at seven. All right. Uh, truck is now complete. Very good. Somebody's going to be very happy with that truck. All right. So then it's back to me. And I'm sending Spruce out to the only uh, available material shop here. Or not material. What is this? Fabric. Fabric, Fabric shop yeah. here uh, before Naveen takes it. So I'm going to spend my two... <laughs> Coal, which is really going to be three, because I'm taking that training token, and I get three fabric. That's exactly what I need for my toys. So I have two on the tea set, <sighs> and one on the paint Spreading set. Spreading all this cheer. And then uh, I'm going to take this, and I think spruce will just be a better material gatherer. Okay. All right, that's mm, me. That was pretty good. I might have to miss out on a on a reindeer, unfortunately, over here. I'm a little nervous because I, I only have this one last toy here. Uh -huh. So I might as well get get another toy, a couple toys going. Okay. So we're gonna go there. We're just gonna close that one off. And I think a a basketball sounds nice. Okay. Um let's so get a couple more. Dollhouse is next. Dollhouse, that seems very expensive. So it's <laughs> worth a lot of points, but uh -huh. I don't think I have the capacity to handle that right now. But a yo yo is something I think I could handle. All right. And then we have the doll clothes. Ooh, doll clothes is kind of competing with my basketball here. But a toy plane, however, is not competing with the basketball. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. There okay. We go. And that is three. That's three. Oh, walking spring. Oh, my gosh. Slinky. <laughs> Did you have one of these? A slinky? Oh, I yeah. had one of those. I never those. had a metal one, though. And it always gets tangled. Yeah, I had the and plastic ones. And if you pull done. it too hard, then it's just, it's done. Like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Very fragile toy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then it goes back to me. And by the way, the three reindeer that we have out here, we have Donner for three points, Comet for one material, and then Velvet, who gets you place, who lets you place a training token uh, from the supply with a two-point side face up on any of your elves. So it's a nice way of just doing that, but you don't get to choose the uh, the material side face up. And so these are materials, by the way. These are assembly tokens. Oh, that's right. I the think I was one. calling them material yes. tokens earlier. It's just so easy to say material. It is. <laughs> All right. For my final turn, I think I'll get some assembly tokens because this is kind of a nice deal right here. I can get three. Mm. So I'm going to take one. And another one, because I'm going to ask for help from myself. Now, again, when it's your own elf, you don't get the points. Nope. But uh, since Naveen is in this spot, I am going to ask for help from you, I which gets you two points. one, two. I need points, so there That's you go. That's a total of one, two, three assembly tokens. That's pretty nice. Yeah. All right, I think that is it. December 17 is done. We're going to do some cleanup, and we won't make you sit through it, so we'll just see you in the next day. All right, welcome back. We are now fully set up for December 18th, our third day, and our three reindeer here are Prancer, that gets you two metal, Cupid, that lets you take two toys, mm -hmm. and Vixen, which lets you take one of any of the three types of material. Sure. And again, Naveen is still first player because neither of us are going to this Christmas tree, which is interesting because that gets you a permanent a ornament. holiday cheer. We're, yeah. not, uh, we're not keeping that in mind, I think. I think we're doing other things right now. <laughs> we're doing other and, things. And like, the pressure is not super on. How many... Right. Uh, Toys have you completed? I've completed two. Two to my one. Yes. But this one's like right on deck. Okay. Okay. Well, seeing as I'm on the hook for one, two, three, four total cloth, mm -hmm. Wasil is going to go become a specialist there. So we're going to put this in there. It's going to cost me two. <laughs> okay. Uh, plus one because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make training a token. specialist. Yeah. Training token. All right. So that's three now fabric. There we go. Three fabric. Here you uh, go. It's actually a four fabric because Why? they already had one previously. Ah, I was going to short you. You were, but I'm on it. There so. you go. Uh, one to the yo-yo, three to the basketball. And now we're getting close. Don't forget, you do have reindeer blankets that you could make. I know. And that starts off by costing you two fabric. Mm -hmm. 
All right, then I'm going to go ahead and send out Barry to the metal shop here. Very good. So, well, hold on. You don't need any metal. There's really no rush. And you don't need any wood. But I don't have that much coal no. is the problem. Oh, I see. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to go to the metal yep. shop here. Let's just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be three coal because like you, I'm going to take the metal sure. token and place that on Barry's spot. That gets me three metal three metal which i'm honestly just going to use to complete both the tea set and the jacks nice because i think numbers right before santa inspection is what i want to do yeah. so the tea set required uh two fabric two metal and then one what is this again <laughs> assembly uh, token. assembly tokens yep so that's six points six, Can I points. six points please? yeah so you're going to be at now 17 yes and then the jacks uh three more points yeah oh, yeah you're giving me three so more now points. you're at 20 uh-oh uh -oh. okay so now I have two more toys. I don't think I'm going on vacay. That are constructed here. Yeah. It is so much time. It's still the first third of the game. Well, and that's yeah. it for me. So that I might be strategically in a position where I don't want to complete these now, knowing that I probably can't compete with your uh, holiday cheer. For that's this, true. This three. So I might want to keep these right at the cusp. Yeah. And then in the next one, just boom, 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 boom. And then I put the pressure on you to have to try to build up. That's right. So maybe we'll see. <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, put that pressure on. So I'm going to put this uh, out there. Okay. I will take the upgrade, so that's going to cost me all of my lumps of coal. Off they go. And then may I please have three wood. Three wood? Three wood. All right. And I'm just going to place some two on the toy plane and one on the yo-yo. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Three wood. And this gets blocked off. It does. So that is no longer available. Okay. Uh, so you did not complete anything, I did right? not complete. Everything needs now the, uh, the blue assembly tokens. Interesting. I'm going to just go to the mine. It's been a while. I'm the first one here, yep. so I get a point, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. And then I'm going to fill my coal cart. And that's essentially all I could do. I really should have unlocked my mining tools upgrade mm -hmm. earlier, knowing that we're going to be going to the mine uh, several times throughout the game anyway, and that gets you points. But I did not do that this time around. So, all right, goes back to you. Hmm. I'm assuming you're going to try to get uh, toys. I wouldn't mind spending some holiday cheer, though. Okay. Over here. So let's get an ornament. You're gonna spend oh. all our, our, here. You know what I mean. What a grinch. Yeah. <laughs> spend it all like a currency. Um, what do I want though? Yeah. What so would you I like? get what's on the uh, ornament plus yes. what I cover up. Right. Well, knowing that I'm gonna be going to the mine eventually. Uh huh. Uh, let's go ahead and do a metal on metal kind of situation here. Now I do want to mention. Uh -huh. oh. Just in case. Sure. What do that you got? you're gonna give me first player. Uh, yeah. That's I know. Okay with you. Yeah. It's okay. Just, when else can I get a passive uh, an not, upgrade? Not passive, yeah, exactly. But so it's like I need. Upgrade. I know I'm gonna have to go to the mines at some point. So okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there. So you're covering a metal, metal, metal. bonus yep. with a metal ornament. Yep, so you're exactly. gonna get both metal tokens. Two metal tokens. Nowhere to place here, but on the mining tools here, I will go ahead and spend them. Okay. So now I have this unlocked. So, ooh, sorry. What are we <laughs> that doing? <happened>. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're okay. done with that upgrade? Uh, yes. So that means when you go to the uh, the mine, you're going to get one point, right? Exactly. All right. So then it goes back to me, and I'm going to spend some coal uh, on my first um, my first reindeer. Can you place it at the top spot, please? First reindeer. So huh? I'm going to go ahead and take Cupid, because yeah. Naveen is right. I do need some toys, some toys, and Cupid will get me two toys. He hooks it up. For the cost of three coal. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, he's decorated. Oh, they're all decorated. Yeah, and there's, they're their own holiday cheer, yeah. That's know? right. There's a heart right there, because it's Cupid. Okay, uh. so two toys for me. And this is following the normal rules for taking toys. So I think I'm going to take the walking spring because yeah. it seems well, easy. Cheapy, yeah. Um, Not bad. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Dress up clothes. That's mm. a lot. That seems like a job for Wasil. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess I'll take the cowboy hat Okay. because uh, everything else needs so much material. Does, yeah. All right. That is me. Oh, so I got one more action with Nog. Yes. So Nog cannot become more trained because all the spots are taken. Correct. Even though I have no coal and I would get one point for uh, going to the coal mine, I don't think you're going to be going there anytime soon. So I could get two points on the next round. So I'm going to go ahead and send myself out onto this slot. Can I have one, one, uh, one assembly, assembly token. token? All right, there and you go. If I put it on here, here, or here, they would complete them. So I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to put it on the toy plane. So it's just on the cusp as well. Ah. There we go. So in the next round or the next set of days, uh -huh. I could be the holiday cheers. How many toys did you complete? A single. Oh, 
I shouldn't have completed so many. You did. It'll teeter totter though, because if you get eight in the first, then mm -hmm. I'll get eight in the next. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's like not it like the happened. amount yeah. of point distribution changes. Uh, changes. It's the yeah. same amount of points that we're competing for. So then I might as well take another reindeer. So I'm sending out Spruce uh -oh. to the reindeer, the second reindeer spot there. Set collecting here. And here we have Prancer. Uh -oh. So it requires me to spend three coal. For some reason, Prancer wanted some coal. Mm -hmm. And Prancer gets me two metal. So I'm going to go ahead and place them directly on my walking spring because that's really all it needs, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. right? And that is it. That is the end of the third day. Uh, we are now here in uh, Santa's first inspection. Yes. So we have to count up and see who spread the most uh, Christmas or holiday cheer. So you, we are so established you have four gifts. I have four toys. Going into the sled. That I've made. We've yeah. been working real hard. Okay. And uh, you have one. I have one. one plus an ornament on the, on the Christmas tree. So yes. I have two. So since I was the one who had the most Christmas cheer, I score eight points. So you're going to be at 29. So I'm going to be at 29. And Naveen scores four. Four. So it's really just a, a four-point four swing. Swing, yeah. Well, eight-point swing, actually. And yeah. uh, we're going to go ahead and discard our toys to the sled because they are ready to get shipped out. Off they go. On, on Christmas Eve. Christmas <laughs> Eve night. Yep. Uh, the ornaments it. do stay, though. So Naveen has one point of Christmas cheer, I guess, towards the next inspection. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I now get first player. <laughs> we forgot to actually... Oh, yeah. yeah. We mentioned it, but we didn't actually that. hand it over. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go ahead and get set up for December 19th. Okay, one third of the way through, mm -hmm. uh, Monique is going to be starting with the Christmas tree. Yes, so go we ahead. are now in the second uh, third of the game, which means we're actually in the B stack in we terms are. of the reindeer. Uh, so they're going to get both more expensive, but also more lucrative. So yeah. as you can see, Donner is worth four points. Cupid gets you three toys rather than the two that I uh, received they just with get mine. Better. And Comet gets you a point and an assembly token. So then I'm going to go ahead and start by sending out Barry to the metal shop here. So close that off. Okay. And I'm going to spend all three of my coal. Mm. Um, but I think this time for the training token, I'm going to put it on its two-point side. Okay. So at the end of the game, it's going to score me two points. It does not get me points every time I go out. It's no. just at the end of the game. And yep. now that both of these are completed, by the way, they'll each score me two additional points yep. at the end of the game. So this is going to get me three plus one. So four metal. Uh, one I will place here, I guess. Yep. Two more I will use to... Open, up open my first upgrade, yep. and then I have one left. I'll place it on my next upgrade. Okay. Because all materials, um, all tokens need to be placed. You cannot save them anywhere. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, since you've opened up that, we both don't have coal. I'm going to send my fairy out to get coal. And because I'm the first one, plus I have a mining tool upgrade, I'm going to get mm -hmm. two points for this. So I go to 15. Nice. Uh, and then can I have nine coal? <laughs> there yeah. you go. All right. Well, there's no rush to go there. And I know that you need material. So I'm uh -huh. thinking I'm going to go ahead and take some material. Oh, okay. Very good. So that's only one. Uh, I keep on calling it material. It's an assembly token, really. It is. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and place this here so that I can complete my first toy of the... The, not quarter, the third, I guess. The fourth day of Christmas. The fourth day of Christmas. It's a walking spring. Mm -hmm. So that's going to get me four points. One, two, three, four. Okay. And now I have one in uh, towards this inspection. You do. All right. Back to you. All right. Well, I don't like the fact that reindeer are very expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and send Wasil out over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to spend uh, two coal. Okay. I'm not going to be spending on the uh, token here because oh, I'm not. already full. Okay. So I'm going to get five total. Oh my gosh. Of which, uh, <laughs> honestly, four of them are going to go, or two of them are going to go onto here. So really just give me a- uh, Three more? Three more, yeah. Okay, there you go. So, so I'll up the, uh, yep, upgrade this for you. Exactly. So the reindeer blankets, yes. one has been made. And then now I have three on this one here. Nice. Meaning if I get another one here, then every reindeer will be a two cold discount. Yes. So as fantastic. of now, you get a one cold discount. One cold discount. Which is already fantastic. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> All right. So it is back to me. And I think I am just going to send out mistletoe. It's always kind of a tricky thing to time when to go to the mine. Yeah. But you really can't do a whole lot of things that you want to do. You need coal. <laughs> without coal. So I'm going here. You do get I'll a get point. one point because mm -hmm. I have one mining tool upgraded. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and take my coal. Very good. So then it goes back to you. So I don't remember who my reindeer is. Let's see. <laughs> you can know. always look at your reindeer pile, okay. but obviously no, none of your opponents can look through yours. Right. Okay. Uh, hmm. So let's go ahead and send out Glog for this task. So Glog is going to go here. Okay. Uh, so normally it's four, but because I've unlocked this, it's, uh -huh. it's going to give me a one discount. So it's only going to be three. So okay. one, two, three. Nice. Who are you taking? 
Uh, I think I'm going to go with Comet. I think I will take Comet. So I get a material and a point. An assembly so, token. Assembly po a token. There you go. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Comet is going to go into my pile. I there get one go. of these. And let's go ahead and just wrap up this one. I'd like to get the score to look a little bit better. So <laughs> okay. place that there. My initial jack-in-the-box is finally completed. Okay. So all that's going to go to you, and then I get oh, nine no. you points. You take the card. Ah, yes. There okay. you go. Perfect. So nine points. Nine points. Oh, my gosh. What's 16 plus 9? 25. 25? Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's me. All right. So then with my final elf, I guess I'll take some wood. And uh, it's tough. I only need two more pieces of wood mm. uh, for my paint set over here. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll go here. Okay. I'm just going to spend the one, the one coal. Okay. Uh, and take two wood. Okay. Uh, just the other two that'll complete this. And I will actually, I will spend the second coal to take this training token mm -hmm. and just do the two point side up. So it was spruce that I sent out, which means I didn't get the bonus uh, wood for mistletoe. Okay, so the paint set gets completed because I, I would have put the two wood on here. And it's going to score me seven points. Seven. So mm. right now I'm at 34. Mm -hmm. So I go to 41. Yep. All right. Yikes. And this is going to get mailed out. It's done. Perfect you can close. now paint. Mm. All right. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't like that. Okay. So I really don't want to give you three points. You can just go there and take one. No, no, no. I, I have enough to get Donner on my side for four points. Oh, okay. So That's let's nice. go ahead and get back over here. Okay. Uh, so because I get my discount, it's going to cost me three, leaving me with just one coal. There you go. I'm going to take uh, Donner. Donner Donner's uh -huh. just going to be four points. Uh, so I'm at 29. And Donner may be unique to my uh, sled. Yeah, Maybe who knows? Sleigh. Unknown. Yeah. Unknown. All right, that is it. We've sent out all of our elves. We're going to go ahead and get cleaned up for the next day. Okay, we are all set up for the new round. We are going into day number five yes. of nine. Not uh, many ornaments on the tree. I <laughs> have one Which from seems... the red player. That's me. That's uh, right. But you have the Christmas tree, so it's I'm, a, I'm too afraid yeah, to you don't pass want to go this there. back on to you, because even if I were to go there, this would go back to you. It would. But I'm going to go ahead and go first. And I hate to do this as my first action, but I'm going to go to the mail room, mm. because I don't have anything really <laughs> now that's a lot of material so you could be uh, on the naughty list yeah i was thinking about it i'm wipe, gonna do it yeah i'm gonna go to the naughty so the naughty side all of this so we wipe that out and we're gonna refill six but then you get to take two i only get to take two mm -hmm. it's not ideal but maybe i can look for something or i can find something that yeah, well, a puzzle is preferable Ooh, hey that's a it's a puzzle one. yeah it just needs one wood a ring toss a drum, drum. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow and wooden and blocks. blocks. Okay, and then again, you can pluck one at a time, yes. so you will technically see another one. Right. So ring toss or wooden blocks. <laughs> so you're looking for the easy one. What about the puzzle? I mean, the bow and arrow is not. I'm gonna take the bow and arrow. Yeah, it's got 11 points. 11 points. Yeah. It does require a lot of assembly tokens, Ooh, and that's my, kind of what telescope. I'm afraid of. Wow, that's a lot of assembly tokens. I'm gonna go for something simpler next, well, which will probably toss. just be the ring toss. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, a bicycle. <laughs> wow, I guess that makes sense. Bicycles uh, do require Take a lot of metal. Time, yeah. But that is me. Now it goes back to you. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I want to upgrade going to the mine because if I do, it'll give me two points every time I go. Plus, at the end of the game, it'll be worth four. So yeah, there's a way nice. to do that right now with Glog. So I only <laughs> have uh, one piece of coal. So I'm going to go here, which is going to be one, two, three, four. So don't even give it to me because the four I'm going to take is going to ah, be the four to upgrade this. Nice. You did so it. I did it. I've, I've got four points in my bag. Very good. There we go. All right, that's everything, right? That's it. So then it goes back to me, and if I act now, then these two areas are essentially mine. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to send out mistletoe mm -hmm. uh, to this spot here so that I can take five pieces of wood, and this is going to cost me two coal. Um, I'm basically all full. So as soon as you fill that last training token, mm -hmm. then there's really going to be no need for us to pick these up, essentially. Yep. But I'm going to go ahead and take the five wood, Three of which are going to go on my bow and arrow because you need wood, I suppose. That's what it says. <laughs> to make the bow and the arrow. And the ring toss. And the ring toss will get two pieces of wood. Ooh, you're, you're building too, huh? I'm building. That's the point. Uh, Our, us elves, we are we are a hardworking building. group of, of folks and mm. we need a vacation. All right, so. you do. Okay, well, Fairy is going to go to the mine now. So now I get one, two, three points for that. Oh, no. One, uh, two, three. That's, that's bad. That's good for me. Yeah, upgrade mine. Uh, and then I get nine coal. So I'll just go ahead and grab that while you take your turn. Okay. 
Uh, I guess I will just go and do this thing because I, I talked. I spoke so highly. Gonna it, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna send Spruce over to the fabric store. Okay. And I'm gonna pay two, two coal. Okay. That's gonna give me a total of four fabric, which I think I'm going to use uh, two actually to unlock my first reindeer blanket. Reindeer games. So that's two of these, and I can Yeesh. spend another two or. I guess I'll put one here and then one here on the yeah. cowboy hat. Makes sense. Okay, that's me. So that whole area is blocked off, yes. but I have nothing to do with that area. You know, I think I'm going to go spread some holiday cheer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and come on over here. Okay. So, oh, you're rhyming. Oh, wow. So you get the tree. Yes, I do. Um, Please, what would you like to decorate with? So I know I definitely want to uh, cover up... I, I want to get this thing off so that when I go get reindeers, it's going to be two less each. Plus, yeah. it'll give me four extra at the end of the game. That's nice. So I'll send out my uh, cloth one and okay. put it on top of a wood one. So you get one fabric yes. and one wood. Exactly. Okay. And that wood can't go anywhere except for on my uh, my cart area here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put this here. So now I'm one towards the four needed to block this off. Right. Or to take that to off. take that off. And then these four will come off. Ah, I'm gonna upgrade. So I'm fully upgraded. You're fully upgraded wise. in yeah. your equipment area. That's great for you. Yeah. So this is gonna be worth eight points at the end of the game. It's if good I timing. And then if I can, because you did it halfway through the game, I, so you have so much time to use it. Yeah. And if I can get this upgraded here, then um, then that'll be another four points for me. So That's right. Maybe I'm gonna try to get points other ways than just making toys. <laughs> like okay. You. Well, it goes back to me for my final turn of the day, and I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, reindeer time and grab a reindeer. Who do you want? So I have one. Cold discount. It's going to cost me three. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take Prancer because Prancer is going to help me unlock my final mining oh. tool. Well, there you go. So that's three metal. I already have one here, which means I can just take this off. Okay. So that's me. Now it goes back to you. I'm trying to see if I have a velvet. I'm trying to remember. What do we got here, velvet? <laughs> velvet. Are you a person in my. No, you're not. Okay. Let's uh, send out Vasil over here. Okay. So uh, now I get a two discount. So instead of paying four, I'm only going to pay two coal. That's so nice. That seems pretty good to get velvet into my uh, employee. Okay. And uh, place a training token from the supply on any of your elves, either side up. I'll take anything and just put it as a two. So this was either side up. Either side up. The previous velvet said it had to be the two. The Which two side I'm up. gonna maintain it actually as the two. So now I'm gonna score the whole the same thing that you're doing. Wow, that's so. six eight points. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're getting some end game end game points here. And then I'm trying to set collect with these reindeer. Yeah, so, you have a lot yeah, of reindeer. We're working it. Uh oh. We're working it. Okay, so a lot of unknown points yep. <laughs> are gonna show up at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But that is it for this second day in the uh, the period here. So we're <laughs> <laughs> gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. We'll get started for the next day. Sure. Final day before Santa's inspection. Yes. I now am going first with the <laughs> Christmas tree, so <gasps> let's take it away. All right. You know, I'm all loaded up on materials here. Let's go ahead and just get myself one of these what assembly these what? tokens. Assembly tokens, oh, I remember. You, did it. you nailed it. Okay, let's just get my, uh, so I have a four, five, and a six. Let's just get the six on the board now. Which okay. Make me feel a little bit better. What so did you build? I built a toy plane. Ah, so that classic, classic, classic toy. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming. Closing the gap, Naveen. I'm closing in. the gap. I'm out of coal, so I'm gonna go ahead and send my snowman to the mine. Okay. I get the coveted first, <laughs> the first player uh, turn thing there. So, you get a, so I'm gonna get one, two, three points. Oh. One, two, three. That's like half a toy. It is. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and refill my You're card. You're just gonna refill? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna send out Nog so I can unlock this here. So I'm gonna go onto this one slot. Uh, I'm not gonna take this extra token, so it's only gonna cost me one coal. Okay. Uh, so I get one, two, three, of which I'm just gonna use for this. So you don't even have to oh, give it to gonna... me. Oh, you're gonna? Because it's one oh, plus nice. the three. So this is now unlocked for me. You unlocked so everything. I'm just unlocking things as much as I can, and then hopefully I can score wow. more than you at the end. Wow, wow. Spread more cheer. <laughs> And this gets blocked off, yep. by the way. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to go ahead and send out Spruce. And I'm real jealous of Naveen's upgrades. Yeah. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pe sp spend <laughs> the two coal. Oh. Um, it's going to get me three, four fabric, which I'm just going to use to unlock oh. my final equipment I don't feel so special anymore. As well, you're not. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Mm. I'm just kidding. I'm going to get coal. I'm not spreading you're too much You're getting a love of coal. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and just solve these uh, problems that I have here. Okay. Toys, not Toys, problems. Yeah, so there you go. 
So I do not score points here, but I am going to ask for my fairy's assistance okay. to get to uh, assembly, two assembly tokens. which is exactly what's needed here. So you don't need to give it to me. Okay. So I have everything needed to score nine for a yo-yo and a basketball. That's going to be nine total points. So you're at 38, nine, eight, seven, so 47. 47. Uh, there we go. You have surpassed. And I do, I do declare that I have four... <laughs> Gifts going out to you're gonna have six to the lovely children. So I'm gonna do the thing that you were saying, uh huh, where I'm just not gonna fulfill you, mine totally. for a while. Yeah, to the lovely children, to the lovelies. Well, then before you do this, I'm going to send Barry out to collect a reindeer. You're gonna get Vixen, I'm getting Blitzen. You, oh, Blitzen, <laughs> you mean my reindeer? That's right, my so two coal because it's a two coal discount. Uh, uh, may I have Blitzen, please, so I can explain? Uh, I the, wanted Blitzen so <laughs> badly. I was is. trying to push my luck. So Blitzen says you immediately score two points per elf you played this round, including the elf that was used to care for Blitzen. I've sent out three of my elves. It was one early from greatness, I guess. But that is six points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So she, she basically made sure I didn't get eight points. Yeah, that would have been horrible. You're already in the lead. And Blitzen is somebody I may have not employed yet. No, that was a B stack Blitzen too. So there is going to be a C stack one that gets you even more points, so. Well, seeing as I have no toys going into uh, the next round, I yeah. think Vasil is going to have to go and get myself some toys. So we're going to go on to this one so I can have the most uh, choices. Okay. Let's do something super simple, uh -huh. wooden blocks, and let's start slowly exposing doable things for me. Ah, okay, see, there we go, a slingshot. I'll uh -huh. take a slingshot. Okay, and don't then, mind if you do. And then let's go ahead and get something that's a little bit... Oh, these oh cabin logs! Cabin logs, I used to love playing with those. Me too! Yeah. That was my favorite toy when I was like five. Yeah. Link Lincoln logs. Lincoln logs. That bicycle is just so daunting. Look at that thing. I know. Four assembly. That's so... 18 points, though. Yeah, this is like a last round kind of thing where you can which, score your points for each we are going token. into the last round. We have a whole are you, three. Oh, like last. Yeah, last like round. last, last. You know, I'm going to top deck it. The top deck it? Let's just have fun. Wow. There we go. There we what, go. what is it? A doctor oh. kit. Okay. 11 points, a little a variety. Yeah, it just All needs right. those assembly tokens. It does. Okay. There we go. That's my whole turn. Okay, so then it goes back to me. This is the only other shop available. I could, I could get the tree. You could also get those assemblies. You need those. I don't want to give you any more points. So I think I will go there. I'm going to go to the tree. I claim the first player token. And I'm going to send out my three point uh, oh, ornament because nice. yeah. I don't want to forget to actually put this out. That's a good one. And I guess I'll take metal. Okay. So three points. So one, two, three. And one metal. Is that going one on piece to of metal that goes onto my ring toss. Ring toss. Yes. I think that's it. That was the last elf placement, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay, let's go ahead and get cleaned up. Oh no, actually, Santa's going to give gonna you have eight inspection. points. This is it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how many? How much Christmas cheer do you have? Two on the ornaments. Okay. Plus four, so six. So six. Oh, uh, I have two, three. Three. Uh, valiant effort. Not enough. Boom. So this is going to go into the sled. You I get, get eight. eight points. So you're at what is this? Forty-seven to fifty-five. Yep. I'm one for just one, two, three, four, one, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to go ahead and get cleaned up for December 22nd. All right. We are all set up for the final rush of the game. To it Christmas. is three days left till Christmas. Everybody is doing all of their holiday shopping like it's probably what's going to happen mm -hmm. this year and every year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it is me going first. So... I'll just go ahead and start by taking a simple material. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Naveen is going to want to go here. I am And any go number there. of elves can go in this third player spot. Mm -hmm. Just want to let you know. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to place it onto my ring toss, which just completes it. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete this now. Love that And I'll gain you. five points. Okay. Thank you. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, boy. All right. It back begins, to you. Eh? Well, seeing as I need a lot of wood, uh, Nog is my only one that gets me a little bit of extra wood. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and place them here. Okay. So it's going to get me how many total? Uh, three, three plus one is four. You know what? I'm actually going to save. Sorry. I'm going to save it. Let's go back and go there. Okay. So I'm just going to get three total. Three so total. It's going to cost me what? One. One. One coal? Just one. Yep. And I get three total. Pretty sweet deal. There's a discount. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So let's go ahead and go doctor kit because it's worth more points. Mm -hmm. And uh, wooden blocks is going to be, well, let's go to slingshot. Why slingshot? Not? 
Oh, uh, let's go to Wooden Woods. Let's just, <laughs> you know, be safe. Okay. So then I might as well go back here. Yeah. So I'm going to gain two assembly tokens. No extra points, though. I'm okay with that. And I'm going to go ahead and place them. I guess I'll place them here. Here. Okay. Boom. There. Like that. All right. Back to you. Well, the reason why I didn't take extra wood is because I think it's time for me mm -hmm. to send out my fairy to the tree. Oh, no. I'd I was, like to that have That was so short-lived. It was very short-lived because I have wood. <laughs> Okay. To place on top of wood to get me the the, the two extra wood that I need for uh, for this one. Okay. So yeah. So two pieces of wood. Two pieces of wood are going right onto the slingshot. Slingshot. So why overpay over there when I knew I was going to come here? All right. There well. We go. Okay. It goes back to me, and just like the last time, I am going to go back uh, to the reindeer area. Oh. No. And I'm going to pay. No. Sorry, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot land Don't that. Don't do it. So it's it's a total of five coal Another. because we are in the C era. Era. That's what I've called it. The three three days in the era. Dang it. And I'm gonna get a two discount. So it's three coal. I thought um, I could pull it off one more turn. Yeah, you waited one turn too long. Ugh. It's gonna be for Blitzen. You're because Blitzen now scores three points per elf that I played this round for a total of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. Shoot. Okay, Dang I need it. to gain I more. wanted that card so badly. I don't have as many upgrades and stuff as you, so. I mean, nine points is pretty good. That also means that I have a duplicate in here, which is you not two great. Duplicates. I think you did it for all of them. Set scoring, but they do score two additional points each, so it's not like it's nothing, right? Feels like nothing to me. <laughs> oh boy, that was good. That was good. good well, job. it's back to you. Good job. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send out uh, Glog. Okay to interact with Prancer over here. So, <laughs> interact, okay. Yeah, five minus two, because my benefit, so here's three. Uh -huh. Prancer is gonna get me four sheets of metal, of which I'm gonna waste two, unfortunately. Ah, uh, because you don't have space? I don't have, well, these two are gonna go into the doctor kit, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, there's nowhere else to place metal. Yes, so and you cannot save anything. Off they go. No material uh, from turn to turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then it's back to me, and uh, I have, I'm not sure if I should get materials now because we have people there. I mean, it seems pretty good. Without yeah. giving you points or yeah. if I should just get toys so that I'm set up for the next round. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to waste my turn, uh, my action economy, I guess, in the next round since you're going first. So I'm going to get toys. Okay. And I guess I'll take them face up. So Triple top deck? Maybe I will. Let's start with the top deck. Let's see what it gets me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the electric train mm -hmm. is expensive in ways that I didn't prefer. So Might as well do it again. I'm going to go with cabin oh, logs okay. next. All right. Well, now you'll see what it would have been. I only get oh, one more. a rocking horse. The rocking horse is not bad. I just don't prefer the toys that are assembly token expensive. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'll take it, honestly, Sweet. because if I don't complete it, it's still one point per token that I place on, on top of it. Yep. There you go. So that's it for me. Now it goes back to you for your uh, final turn. Metal. Oh, this should be blocked off. Yes, there that's we right. Go. Well, seeing as I don't have too much coal... I should probably go get three points and load me up with coal. So I'm gonna go here. Okay. So I get three so points. So where are you here? Yeah. One, two, three. And then I'm just and completely then loaded. So all your coal. That's gonna be it. All right. Yeah. So go ahead and load up your coal. We are going to get set up for the next day. Right. All right, here we are. It is December 23rd. We are in a mad rush uh, for Christmas preparations right now. Yeah. We have three new reindeer. We have Dasher, that'll get you four. Fabric, Comet, that gets you two assembly tokens. Mm -hmm. And Velvet that says you can flip any two of your training tokens. So maybe if you didn't like the bonus on one side, you can flip it to the point side, which is probably what it's you'd want to do at the game. end of the game. Yeah. So I mean, Comet's pretty sweet. He lets you uh, get more towards this end game scoring, yeah. plus you get two without having to go here. Now, the question is, who do we have? I'm not remembering I know, that's now. why I just looked at mine. Uh oh <laughs> I don't think I did too well for <laughs> set scoring. Yeah, I think you have a lot of Blitzen. Yeah. You know what? I just spoke highly of Comet. Let's go ahead and uh, handle that. Let's get Comet. So three, because I get a discount. Yeah. So I'm going to get uh, two assembly, please. That's nice. You bypass this I whole business whole, of yeah. one only. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I had a feeling you would have wanted it. So wooden block's going to be completed. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and put this on my slingshot. So now I'm going to get four points for this one. Okay, four there points. So one, two, three, four. Yep. And that's that. We are not too far, not too far away. apart. Yeah. So then with my final coal, um, <laughs> I think I'm just going to send out mistletoe while I can because mistletoe has so much, so many uh, benefits, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's going to cost me the two coal, and I'm going to take three, four, five wood, okay. which I can pretty much disperse throughout here because I don't even know if I'll be able to complete it sure. with all those assembly tokens that I would need. Mm -hmm. Three, that's three, uh, four, five. All right, so then it goes back to you. All right, I think it's going to be uh, another gaining of a reindeer. So I'm going to go here and get Dasher on my side. Uh-oh. So three off to you. Okay. Uh, so I'm only going to be able to take two of these four, but I will take this. Uh, so can I have two um, cloth? Two, two cloth? Yeah. Oh, I can't the store the other. Oh, fabric, sorry. Yeah. There you go. And then I'm going to put that one on here. That's finishing that one. Okay. And then this one's close to being done. So I have my slingshot. Okay. It's going to be worth five points. Five points. Yep. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five. No. We're All right. It. We're working. I need to finish a toy. We're panicking. <sighs> We're panicking. Snowman. Assembly token. So one token will get placed here. So it just completes this toy. So then we have, wait, is this right? <laughs> Two assembly tokens, three wood and a fabric. Yeah. Okay. The bow and arrow. It's going to be for 11 points. Whoa. So <laughs> 71 goes to 82. 82. All right. Well, that seems pretty good. Back to you. I have an 11 pointer. Yeah. You still have to finish it. I just have to do it. You know, I'm going to send out with sale. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, flip over any two tokens. So I'm going to well, put another three. three We're just three. getting as many reindeer on this sled as possible, the sleigh. <laughs> so flip over uh, any two training tokens. So oh, that's nice. I'm just going to go ahead and flip over, knowing that these are all the toys out there. Yeah. Not too much uh, require this cloth fabric. Okay. So I'm just going to flip these over so oh I can score gosh. four more points. So good. That was a minimum six-point turn right there. Yeah. Because you'll at least get the two points for the reindeer, depending on your set, and right. then four points. Mm -hmm. Ah, so good. Okay. Well, I would like to go into the final round with Cole. Sure. So I'm going to send out, uh, let's just go with Barry. Okay. To, yeah, to the mine. So that's three points. Can I have three points, please? Uh, three points. One, and two, then, three, yeah, 85. Thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and fill my... My coal cart, mm -hmm. if you'd like to take your last turn. Okay, I think I'm probably going to want to just get some... Because the materials that we put on here uh -huh. are going to be one point per on, yes, on top. Yes, for any of your unfinished toys. Yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to put that there. Let's just get the metal building. Okay. Uh, building set. Uh, metal. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be one. Uh-huh. I'll top deck another one. Okay. There we go. A knight. And then let's get, who do I have something for? Okay, and then I'll just take the wagon. Why not? Nice, all there right. We have some stuff. That's it, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, so it goes to me for my final turn with spruce. I do have coal, but there are no more reindeer left. So I think I'll just take assembly tokens. Yeah, Since um, I'm here already, get two. Um, I'm gonna ask for help for myself and I'll take two. I think I can just complete this. Yep. The, lo the cabin logs. Might as well. Okay, so here's four wood. And that's going to get me eight points. Eight points. Oh, no. 85 to so 90, 93. Three. You didn't do the... the. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was able to do the math. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is it. Yep. Let's go ahead and clean up for the final round. Sure. All right, here we go. It is Christmas Eve, and we are all set up for the final round, as well as final Santa inspection. Yes. So we have our final three reindeer, Donner for five points, Vixen for three materials, and Dancer for four wood. Yep. Starting with you, Naveen, what okay. are you going to do? Uh, we got to get this going. So uh, I'm going to put this one here. Can I have one assembly? There you go. Thanks. I'm going to put that down on this. That's for you. So Perfect. I need two more on this one. Okay. I think I might as well send out mistletoe. So mistletoe is going to go here, uh, two coal, and I'm going to take uh, five wood. Yeah. But with that five, I'm going to unlock this. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's four. And then one. one wood on the rocking horse. That's pretty good. So that's me. Let's go ahead and just send myself here. I don't know if you're going to help me here. So I'm going to get myself two assembly, which is going to be what's needed to complete this. Okay. So I will complete this toy here, which is going to be 11 points. Oh, Dr. Kit. Dr. Kit. Very so good. So what are we at here? Now I can't do the math. Was that 68? So 60, 78? 79? Oh, no, sorry. I went up one plus 10. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Okay. Well, I do not want to help you. No. <laughs> just saying, but... How many toys have you I built, by the way? How many toys? I have three. Three. Oh. oh, you have more ornaments than I do. I need that badly. Do but... I take ornaments? <laughs> you could, yeah. Um, I am going to go up here, though, with spruce, because that's going to be... That's four points, basically, every time I go to one of these. Sure. So two coal, and it's going to be four fabric, which I... Oh, can I hold? Yes, I can hold it. 
Okay. So three on my rocking horse and then one on my cowboy hat. All right, back to you. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and, because points are awarded for having material on these, correct? Yes, all of the tokens that are on your unfinished toys right. is one point each. Okay, so let's go ahead and send out uh, Glog, uh -huh. who's going to be able to get me five if I go here. Ah, you took my spot. Yeah, <laughs> so two, and then so I get five total. Okay, there you go. Five metal. Five. All right, so let's go ahead and put one, two, three, four, and then just drop one on the knight. There okay. We well, since you've taken that spot, I am just going to send out my snowman to the reindeer, the reindeer area. Who do you want? Five uh, points? To take care of Donner, Donner. I think. Yeah, five so points. So that's three. Three cool. And that's worth five. That's five good. points. That's too good. One, two, Please. three, four, five. Thank you. One last action for me. Yeah. Final action. Final one. Better make it good. Well, might as well spread some cheer because I have my three-pointer here. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to just cover up. Uh, let's just cover up a metal right there. Okay. So I'm going to get a metal plus three points. Uh, one, two, three. There you go. Here you go. You're first player. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> that was four points for you, which That's is nice. Four points, yeah. Well, I'm just going to refill my mine cart then because at least points. it'll get me three points. Um so can I have three points, yeah. please? And coal left over is nothing, right? Yeah, I don't One, necessarily two, think that coal is going to do anything. He broke 100. So I'm just going to fill it, though, just in case. Yeah. All right. And I think that is it for the final day. Christmas Eve is over. Santa has arrived for final inspection. How many toys did you make? I, I made, made three. Three. You made three, but you also have one, two, three, four ornaments yeah, on the tree so for a total of seven holiday so cheer to one, my two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I get four. four. So you're at that. <laughs> well, Ooh. that is it. Yeah. The game is done. We're going to go into end game scoring and we'll see who gets to go on this vacation. Sure. So first things first, unfinished toys. Okay. So count the number of tokens that you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I I'll get seven points. You get seven. I have six. So you're going to go to 112. I'm at six. I'm at 95 now. Nice. Okay. We'll score our reindeer last okay. for the element of surprise. Sure. So let's go ahead and score our upgrades. Okay. So we basically completed all of them, mm -hmm. right? So that's one, two, three times four is 12. Okay. Plus two, four, six. So 18. Uh huh. Plus four for these two tokens. Yes, yeah, so that's 22. So 22. Uh, so so up two plus 20. So one, two, what is this? 14. 14. So 34. 34, yeah. Okay. So I have uh, the same uh, 4, 4, 4. That is uh, 12, uh -huh. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. 24. So what's that go. for me? Uh, 99. I did it plus 20. Four. 20 more. 19. There we go. That's it. 19? Yeah. And finally, we score our reindeer. So go ahead and, and lay out your reindeer Let's so that we can out. see your largest sure. unique I'm set. I'm going to move this out of the way. So you way. don't score all of your sets. Right. Oh, I'll just put mine on top. Okay. All right. Here are our final reindeer. I have one, two, three, four, four. unique, so which means seven. I get seven points yeah. plus two, Eight. four for yeah. the, the copies. copies. So it's 11 total. 11. So 35 to 45. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is 12. 13, 14, 15, 16 points. So 16, 16, yeah. 15. Is that 35? 35. Oh. All right. It was those that Britons. is it. The game is done. We, Mistletoe, Spruce, and Barry, we're going on vacation. You're gone. You're hitting the slopes. <laughs> Congrats. Dang pack it. Your, pack your ski <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we're going to go somewhere sunny. Maybe sunny. Right? Maybe sunny. So pack your, sunny. pack your bathing suits. Yeah. So there you go. Final scores are Naveen with 135 to us with 145. <sighs> Dang. You that know, is you, it. You getting those three Blitzens was huge because mm -hmm. Blitzen is, is one that I didn't have. So that's yes. another set collection. Plus the swing in like you getting eight versus me getting nine. Right, or right, you know, right, something right. Like that. That's a uh, that's big. Well, there you go. That is Santa's workshop. Again, we are playing on the advanced side. Mm -hmm. Now, if you flip over the main board as well as the player boards, you'll see the basic game setup, yep. which basically doesn't have the mine carts or the training tokens for the elves. And uh, some of the areas here work differently, but you're still doing the same thing. You're building toys and you're having a uh, Santa inspection. Right. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Happy holidays, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye.